What's up everybody, this is Lindsay Rago here and I'm gonna tell you why you are doing breakfast wrong. I'm making this video because I thought, think about my dad. My dad loves to cook his breakfast. He loves breakfast, but he always cooks with butter, with oil, with all of the things that he thinks or used to think would make his breakfast taste good. He didn't think that he could make a breakfast taste good without those things. So I'm here to show you that your breakfast can be absolutely delicious and absolutely macro-friendly, calorie-friendly. It'll fit into your life and still taste really, really good without adding a, up to 400 extra calories with just these cooking products that make it, make it seem like that you have to use them to make it taste good. First, I select my favorites, which are red onion, peppers, and then I'm honestly, it's gonna sound weird, gonna put a little bit of frozen green beans in my saute this morning. I'm on prep, so this is me keeping it super friendly. You can totally add things like cheese or avocados or guac, like that. you can make avocado into guac, really whatever you want. Um, but for me in prep, I have to keep my calories very specific, um, my macros very specific. So this is a higher fat, low carb version of my breakfast for me. You may copy it. It's pretty low calorie. It's like 200 calories or something like absurdly small like that. We cut veggies. where the magic happens. So I have my, since I don't have a stove right now, I have just like Grillmaster Hamilton Beach thing, and I have ham. So your veggies will still reduce and if you saute them in Pam as opposed to oil or butter. They just take a little bit longer and they're not as, they're not as soft, but they still get that charred outside and they're still soft on the inside and still really, really good. is I am having a little bit more fat in it, so I am gonna put a little bit of coconut oil in it. But instead of just dolloping a big thing of coconut oil, I'm going to measure it. So that's all you have to do to add oil to things, just so that you know what you're actually getting. So I'm getting seven grams of oil, which is about five to seven grams of fat. Then I know how much I'm having. It's really hard to measure things that are fat dense, like peanut butter, like oil, like, um, I don't know what else, nuts. Um, and really know how much is there unless you weigh it. Wow. is utilize your spices. So I used to always be afraid to use like herbs and seasonings because I, I was like, I don't know what tastes good and what I'm supposed to pair with what, and not the case anymore. Luckily we live in a day and age where these things exist. Seasoning packets, seasonings that are pre-mixed herbs and spices. So these are bomb. So Hidden Valley has ranch there five calories for a serving and you aren't going to use the whole packet even if you did that would be like 30 extra calories something like that so what my favorite is that i want to use this morning is just regular ranch but there's also like there's also bacon ranch and there's like grill masters all this stuff that's just like a whole new world. So I literally just am gonna sprinkle it on and it's gonna make it taste incredible. So what I did was I added one whole egg and four and a half ounces of egg whites. That's my personal breakfast. Like I said, you can have whatever you want to this. It's just, you don't have to base it in oil and butter for it to taste really good. So let's finish up and then let's eat. things to 
go over. It's not necessarily necessary that you're making breakfast wrong, but if you think that you are eating healthy or trying to lose weight and you are still dousing everything with oil and butter, or even just cooking with it in general without actually like knowing how much you're using, you might actually be sabotaging your own goals without knowing it. All I'm trying to do is give you actual knowledge about what you are doing so that you know. Because I myself, I myself didn't have a clue back when I first started that oil even had calories. So hopefully this helps you guys out if it resonates with you and you're like, a light bulb went off and now you're like, okay, now I'm awake to see how much I'm actually eating. Please leave a comment, share it if you want to go back and reuse this recipe, or if you know somebody who you want to hint at who you know uses oil and butter all the time, this is for them. So, hope you enjoyed it, and let me know if you guys have any questions. Hit that send message button, and I'll try to help you out the best I can.